Okay, so I want you to imagine that you've just come home from work. It's been a long day. Your kids are probably arguing. Um, your husband or spouse maybe is kind of grumpy too because they had a long day at work. And you come home and you still have to make dinner and you don't want to make dinner. And it's just like, ugh. What do you tend to do? Do you grab for a bag of chips? Do you grab a glass of wine? What is your trigger? So today we're gonna to be talking about triggers and how they can derail your progress. Hey, Nicole here from Shape It Up Fitness and today we're talking about triggers. So in the scenario that I gave in the beginning of the video, when you get home, a lot of times people are not even aware of the things that they do. I had a client who worked at a bakery and she, I had her do a food log and she did not realize that every time she walked into the bakery in the morning when she opened, she actually ate like four donuts within the first hour. That is eye-opening, right? So what was her trigger? Her trigger was is that she came into work and the first thing she would do was grab, grab a donut. So in the scenario that I gave in the beginning of the video, um, when you come home, a lot of times there are triggers like when your kids are arguing or when you're having an argument with your spouse or you just had a long day at work. When you come home, you're looking for that mood change. Sometimes the trigger itself is the mood change. So if you think about it, when you come home and say you grab a glass of wine, you know that that wine is the trigger and then all of a sudden everything is calm and wonderful, right? It could be too that you're coming home and you grab some M&Ms or something as you walk in the door after you place your keys. Try to see what kind of habits you do and see if there are triggers that come before them. Uh, I had another client who would get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom and then on the way back to bed they would grab a snack. So <laughs> I don't know how hungry they were going to and from the bathroom but that became a habit. So a lot of times when your triggers start they are very unconscious and then they become habits. And the habits are either moving you towards your goal or away from your goal. So your action steps for today is to just kind of be aware of what you're doing throughout the day and see if there's any of those trigger moments. It might be that you're going into the break room and you're getting a cup of coffee, but right next to it are some jelly beans and you're eating the jelly beans, you know, things like that. Or you tend to go visit um, a person at their desk because they always have these butterscotch candies. Who knows? But just kind of be aware of what you're doing and and look at the little things that you're doing that may lead to bigger habits. If you have a trigger that you would like to share, you can go ahead and put it in the comment section below and I'd love to hear from you. If you would like more from Shape It Up, head on over to shapeitupfitness.com. Remember to get fit, be fierce, and have no limits. I'll see you in the next Shape It Up video.